Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how to create uh, custom transition animations for uh, uh, specifically for a navigation component. So I have already designed a simple project. So as you can see we have uh, three main fragments inside our navigation graph. So we have a home fragment, a first fragment and second fragment. And of course our main activity holds a nav host fragment in which uh, our home fragment is a start destination. So as you can see our home fragment fragment uh, has two buttons, uh, one which will uh, navigate us to a first fragment and the one which will navigate us to a second fragment. And each of those fragments uh, have uh, one back button which will navigate us back to a home fragment, okay? So uh, that looks uh, pretty straightforward and uh, this uh, project will be available for you to download in the video description, so let's check it out. As you can see when I click to navigate to the first fragment, I get navigated there and when I click the second I get navigated to this uh, second fragment, okay? So uh, that works, but we don't have any transition animation. And uh, we're going to create uh, some transition animation which will be, uh, which will look something like similar to a bottom navigation view. So we want to move those fragments uh, from the sides, from the left and right. So first uh, let me just show you how uh, those fragments and activity uh, look like. So first in main activity we just use this uh, setup action bar with nav controller and we have this uh, on support navigate up uh, method uh, overrided. Next uh, our home fragment uh, has just two buttons and uh, on click listener for those two buttons as well. And as you can see we are just using this uh, nav controller to navigate uh, to the first and second fragment. Uh, next in the first fragment we just have uh, one button and one on-click listener which will navigate us back to a home fragment so it's it's uh, basic and simple and we have a second fragment here we just have a uh, one more button uh, for a back so we can get back to our home fragment as well and uh, that's basically it so now uh, let's uh, choose this resource manager and let's create uh, one animation resource file Okay, so here uh, let's name this uh, from uh, left, okay? So we are going to have uh, four different uh, animation resource file and let's first start with this one. So the root element is a set and uh, we inside we can define the five different elements. But in this, in this tutorial we're going to focus just on this uh, translate uh, element because we want to navigate our uh, fragments from the sides, from the left and right and with uh, translate you can uh, navigate uh, and create animations from left, right, top or bottom. But in this case uh, we're going to just navigate uh, left and right. So we have uh, four different uh, attributes here. Uh, from x to x from y and to y delta okay so basically th those are x and y uh, axis and i'm going to show you uh, a little bit later um, the graphic in which will explain you this uh, even better so i'm going to set this from x delta to minus 100 percent so we are using percentages here and that is very important so basically uh our file is named uh, from left and that means we want to move our fragment from the left side and that's why we are setting the x uh, to minus 100% and uh, 2x to 0% and for the duration we can just set uh, 300 milliseconds but we can increase that duration uh, afterwards okay so now we're going to open our navigation graph and uh, we're going to select this arrow which is pointing from the home fragment to our first fragment and uh, once you select that you will see on the right side that we have uh, animations here and we can specify four different animations enter exit pop enter and pop exit animations so i'm going to specify enter animations uh, so i'm going to specify this uh, enter animation which i uh, just created and let me just show you how will that work okay so basically the enter animation means that uh, our first fragment uh, will have this animation because first fragment will enter our uh, nav host fragment. So as you can see, our first fragment is uh, coming from the left side when we press this uh, first button. And uh, let's just increase this duration so you can see uh, this transition animation even better. Okay, so click this first button and as you can see, our first fragment is coming from the left side and our home fragment is just uh, disappearing. But we're going, we're going to change that as well. So don't worry. And let me just show you one uh, graphic here. So uh, here we have uh, this uh, rectangle, white rectangle, which represents a screen. Then we have this uh, horizontal and vertical line. So the horizontal line is uh, X axis and the vertical line is a Y axis. So uh, the top left corner is 0% and once we go on the right side, we will get 100%. Uh, and once we go to the uh, bottom, 
we're going to get 100y uh, percent okay so minus 100 percent is basically on the left side outside of the screen okay and that is from the left side and that's how we created the, this animation and for the y uh, minus 100 percent would be up okay so i think uh, you now get it how that works and now uh, just let me show you uh, a little bit more okay i'm going to set visibility to true for those and uh, as you can see we have a um, from x delta minus 100 and to x delta zero percent okay and that is how uh, our our fragment or first fragment was able to come from the left side so f uh, from minus 100 percent to zero percent and there we go and uh, for example if we set uh, from x delta to uh, 100% uh, or uh, let's say uh, from x delta 100% and to x delta to zero so that would mean that uh, our fragment would come from the right side this time okay so from x delta 100% so from the right side to delta zero and there you go uh, so it is uh, very simple and now uh, we're going to create another uh, animation resource file so let's create one Okay, so this one we are going to name uh, to right because um, this will be for our exit animation and uh, our home fragment uh, is uh, exiting. So we want to move our fragment from uh, uh, from the middle to the right and that's why we need to uh, say here from delta zero to delta 100% because we are moving that to the right side and uh, our first fragment is coming from the left side. So you will see uh, how this animation will look like. So let's first specify this exit animation to right okay so like that and let's run our application okay so click first and as you can see our uh, home fragment moved to the right and our first fragment came from the left side so this uh, uh, transition animation is uh, pretty similar to a uh, bottom uh, navigation view and let's increase the duration of this animation so you can check it out even better and uh, let's see so our home fragment is leaving on the left side on the right side and our first fragment is coming from the left side so uh, everything works fine but uh, when we press this uh, navigate up arrow uh, from the first uh, fragment uh, we don't see any animation and that's why we need to specify uh, pop uh, enter and pop exit animations so you will see now so now we're going to create uh, another two animations and we're going to have uh, four different uh, animation resource file uh, totally okay so this one we're going to name uh, to left okay so let's add the translate here as well so uh, from x we're going to set to zero percent and uh, to x delta uh, minus 100 percent and the uh, duration can be um, one second as well and now let's create uh, the last uh, animation resource file okay and we're going to name this one uh, from right okay so now let's add the translate so uh, from right that means that we're coming from the 100 percent to the uh zero percent okay let's add the duration here as well and uh, that's basically it so now uh i'm going to add those two those last two uh animation resource file to our navigation graph okay and uh, now let's open our navigation graph to uh add those two uh animations okay so here for the pop enter uh, animation uh, we're going to pick a resource okay so here select this uh, from right so uh, pop enter animation is uh, used for uh, our home home fragment because uh, when we press our uh, back arrow our uh, home fragment will pop and enter so that's why uh, we want to come we want to make our uh, home fragment come from the right side so as you can see there we go so when we press this back arrow our home fragment is coming from the right and uh, our uh, first fragment is uh, going to the left but uh, there is uh, one more thing so when we press this uh, back button as you can see there is no any transition animation so uh, and that's because we haven't specified the uh, enter and exit animation for uh, our uh, arrow pointing from the first fragment to the home fragment so uh, we're going to add that as well but first let me just show you one more graph here so uh, this is just an example and this uh, uh, black uh, rectangle represents a main activity which has a navigation uh, nav host fragment and uh, those two uh, 
fragments are basically uh, our fragments. I just uh, haven't included the second fragment because this is just for the demonstration purposes. And uh, down below we have uh, animations. So as you can see we have enter and exit animation. So enter animation is used for the, our first fragment when uh, our first fragment is coming uh, into navigation uh, host fragment and the uh, exit animation is used for our home fragment when uh, it's leaving the, the screen, okay? And as you can see, it is moving. And uh, uh, we have pop enter and pop uh, exit animations. So those two animations are used uh, when we press uh, back arrow. So uh, pop enter uh, is used for a uh, home uh, fragment when we press back arrow on our first uh, fragment, okay? And pop exit is used for our first fragment when we press that arrow as well. So when we press that back arrow, as you can see, uh, this is how it should look like. And uh, I think uh, this uh, graphic is uh, kind of a good way to explain how this uh, actually works. And uh, now let's get back to uh, Android Studio and let me show you uh, and let's add those two uh, animations. So as you can see, everything works fine. We just need to add uh, two more animations, transition animations for our first fragment. So select this uh, arrow which is pointing from the first fragment to the home fragment. And we're going to just add uh, two animations, enter and exit. Okay, so uh, when we are entering, our home fragment uh, will enter our screen and it should come from the right side and uh, our first fragment should exit to the left. So select to left, click OK, and now let's run our application. So we don't need to specify pop enter and pop exit animation on our first fragment because we only have um, those three fragments. So when we click back, as you can see, it uh, works perfectly fine. So everything works as expected, uh, we just need to add uh, those animations to our uh, action which is pointing from the home to the second fragment. So let's add uh, those enter animations. So enter animation should uh, be from right because our second fragment will come from the right and our home fragment should exit to the left side. So let's uh, run our application. So as you can see it uh, works fine. And now we need to specify a uh, pop enter and uh, pop exit animations. So when we press our uh, back arrow, transition animations should work as well. So for the pop enter, it means that uh, our home fragment will uh, enter. So it should enter from the left side. So select from left and pop exit. So that means that second fragment is exiting to the right. And now let's uh, check that out. Okay, so select this second, click this back arrow and it works perfectly fine. And we just need to add uh, two more animations for back button on our second screen, second fragment. So let's specify uh, those two animations uh, with this arrow which is pointing from the second to the home fragment. So for the enter animation, uh, we need to select uh, from left because home fragment is coming uh, from the left and uh, exit to the right. Because our second fragment is uh, leaving to the right. Okay, so let's run our app and uh, now everything should be perfect and ready. So this uh, transition animation uh, looks uh, very similar to uh, bottom navigation view transition animation and uh, you can integrate uh, your na your navigation component with uh, bottom navigation view and uh, also add those uh, transition animations. So uh, that will be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please uh, like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one.